Alrighty guys, coming close. It is confession time. I am here to tell you guys my latest addicted items. I love showing you guys these videos because it gives you an insight into my current favorite items that have come out recently over the last couple of months. And I get so excited to show you guys what these are. Now, over the last couple of years, there's been some amazing vegan friendly items hitting the supermarkets every single day mum and 2020 is no different 2020 has been a pretty horrible year all things considered but it has been a great year for some amazing new and exciting vegan friendly products i am here today to show you guys my three amazing addicted items that i am currently addicted to and i'm excited to show you guys what they are check out my Instagram and all that sort of stuff, you probably would know what items I am currently absolutely addicted to. And first off the bat is this one from Aldi. It is the plant-based nuggets. These nuggets are unbelievably tasty, come with a very crispy bat around that nugget there, and they are incredibly good value as well. So you got $4.99 for all these plant-based nuggets. So 350 grams of plant-based nuggets. Pretty sure it works out to be about maybe about 15 nuggets in there. And they are by far the best tasting plant-based nuggets around in my opinion. You know, that batter, that nugget is unbelievably delicious. And our kids love them, I love them. These are a fan favorite of ours in this household. I've heard reports that this is only gonna be a limited time release, but hopefully with so many people purchasing them, Aldi will turn around and go, wow, geez, this is unbelievable. So let's get behind this product. Interestingly, this product is actually a product from Igums. If you weren't sure of Igums, they are actually a massive chicken slaughterhouse, really. They, they supply a lot of chicken to Australians. As you can see here, the plant collective is a trademark of Igums. I don't know, some people might be a bit iffy about the fact that they are supporting a company that produces so much slaughter to chickens, but you know, I don't know, I find it actually probably a good thing that you know, some of these companies are actually seeing that there is a broader market out there and trying to cater for different people. So I don't know, I, I feel personally it is a win, but I know some people would kind of get a bit angry about that. Either way, these are still incredibly delicious plant-based nuggets, so definitely do check them out. So the next addicted item is a little bit of a combination item here. So I have the Made With Plants Cream Cheese, Garlic and Chive. Made With Plants recently re-released their ranges of cream cheese. They had cream cheeses probably about last year and they were incredibly, I'll be lack of a better word, were disgusting. They tasted terrible, very bitter. You know, it, that was a bad experience and it put a lot of vegans off trying any of their products in the future. But obviously they took the feedback, went back to the drawing board and re-released their cream cheese range and have produced some of the best vegan cream cheeses that I have personally tasted. And this one is definitely my favorite. So they have available a couple of them. They got the garlic and chives one, an original and a sweet chili one as well. But definitely the garlic and chive one goes incredibly well with this here, the bagels. So getting the bagels as well, vegan friendly, Combining those two together, boom, they make such a delicious snack. So this one is actually really incredible value as well. $5 for this little tub, it is 250 grams. So really good value for $5. I know there's some other cream cheeses out on the market. They're generally about six, $7. So this comes in a little bit cheaper and is well worth a purchase. All right, this last addicted item, I'm really excited about it. There are so many great meat alternatives coming out all the time now and this one is probably definitely my favorite i reckon and it is this one from fable it is the fable a plant-based braised beef so i've done a review on all these items today so check out the description below if you want a bit more information about each of these products this product is made from mushroom which is really surprising because it doesn't taste like mushroom the texture of it isn't like mushroom, it pulls apart, like what you generally beef would pull apart. 
So that is what it looks like in the packet there. As I said, I've already done a review on it if you want a closer look of this product, but it is unbelievable how that tastes, how the texture of this product is very similar to braised beef. You can make a lot of amazing meals out of this. I've been actually doing some braised beef pies, I've done stews, I've done a variety of meals with this product. It is a game-changing product and it is $8.50, a little bit pricey. I know this item can seriously make a lot of meals and can sway a lot of people or get people on board with veganism who are transitioning. It is a really great plant-based alternative, like a meat alternative, and it is really actually pretty good for you as well. Mock meats and all that sort of stuff get a pretty bad rap because of the ingredients in there, but as you can see with this one, the ingredients aren't too bad there. As I said, it is mushroom-based and it's very, very delicious. Anyway guys, that was my three addicted items. I guess it's four if you add in those bagels, but that combination of that cream cheese and bagels is mind-blowingly good, <laughs> very delicious. And I'm really excited that there are some amazing products out on the market now, especially seeing, you know, made with plants, they, they went back to the drawing board and re-released really their cream cheeses and made something incredibly delicious. And then you're also on the other spectrum, you've got those plant-based nuggets where, you know, the parent company of that is Igums, where they produce chicken, actual chicken nuggets. It's great to see that these sort of companies are getting on board and changing up, you know, their regular routine and catering for more people. And that braised beef, unbelievably tasty. And that texture always gobsmacks me when I pull it apart and tasting it is incredible. It is actually unbelievable that it is made from mushrooms. Anyway, those are my three addicted items that I am currently buying a lot of. So please let me know in the comments below if you've tried any of these products, what's your opinion of these products? And also let me know what items you are currently going through a lot of in the comments section below. Really love to hear what you guys are currently addicted to. Anyway, that is it. And as always, like the video, share it around, comment below, and also subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with more of these vegan lifestyle videos and much, much more. Anyway, that is it for this addicted video. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, I'll catch you guys very soon.